Good morning. It is November 1st. I've been asked to do this a lot, a what I eat in a day video. So this isn't going to be fancy. Uh, this is not planned. This is going to be a very true to what I eat in a day. Last night was Halloween. My house is a mess. There's glitter and hay for some reason. We don't even have hay bale, but <laughs> there's stuff everywhere. So I'm having coffee with just cream until I open my eating window. Right now, this is my second coffee. It's right around 10 o'clock. I am not even remotely hungry. I definitely enjoyed both of my 20% and my 20% snack. So two meals and a snack yesterday were considered treat ones. I had pizza and I had mac and cheese and I had some peanut M&Ms and some peanut butter fudge. And I'm just feeling really bloated and kind of gross today. And, and I'm not even remotely hungry. So right now I'm rocking some coffee. And stay tuned and you'll see when I do uh, break my fast and open my eating window. But for now, it's time for more coffee. Hey guys, I'm really busy undecorating and cleaning and everything. And I got so distracted and I actually, just, oh my hair. Anyways, I was not hungry at all. I ate a lot yesterday, more than I normally do. And it's not that I'm purposefully like not feeling hungry or not eating today because of what I ate yesterday. Like absolutely not. Fasting is not punishment for eating poorly the day before. I was full within my 20% to have everything I had yesterday. I really enjoyed it, but I've just not been hungry today. I've had three coffees and now I just realized it's three o'clock in the afternoon and I'm absolutely hungry now. And this smells amazing. So I'm going to refuel with a bunch of protein. This is a chicken curry that I had in the freezer and I have thawed it and microwaved it and I've got a dollop of sour cream and some fresh cilantro on top. It smells amazing and uh, yeah, I'm like definitely a two pushing a three on the hunger scale. So it's absolutely time to eat and I'm gonna enjoy the heck out of this. So we'll see you in a little bit. Just thought I should add, I'm definitely drinking water. Oh my Lord, I look horrible. Anyway, it's been a long couple days. Um, yeah, this is 40 ounces. They're the ones from Costco. I've filled this up once and I'll probably get another half of one in for around 60 ounces today, just cause I've had so much coffee. <laughs> Okay, Chris is home, so we're about to eat. I have the brand Too Good, T-W-O, Too Good, and they make keto frozen meals. Um, and this is their General Tao, General So, however you say it, chicken, and some green beans and a couple of corn ribs. Uh, I've got those, those are smoking stampede from Superstore. So just had a microwave meal tonight because my kitchen counter is still, cut, or my oven, sorry, swinging around is, is filled with the pumpkins that I've been roasting for Rusty. So anyways, I can't wait to dig into this. I'm starving. So uh, might have some Greek yogurt tonight. I don't know. Stay tuned. And my mouth is on fire. That chicken, I forgot how spicy it was. Like my lips are burning, my tongue's burning, my throat is burning. So the fastest way to cool off capsaicin is with a sweetened dairy. And capsaicin is what's in chili peppers that makes it hot. So I'm going for some too good vanilla yogurt. It's just going to give me some more protein. So I'm pretty full though. And I, I don't even know if I'm going to finish all this. So that might be rounding out my day, but we'll see. Uh, it's getting close to closing my window, but I did start it quite late today. So I do have a little bit of wiggle room or I might just have a six hour window today. We'll see. Okay, it's 8 p.m. and I did close my window. I'm completely stopped. I probably even ate past satisfied with that yogurt just because my mouth was burning from the chicken. But I also wanted to get the protein in. But anyway, so I'm done. And my calories came in at 817 calories for the day. 79 grams of protein. I think like 41 total carbs, but 34 net carbs. So and I just, I don't even know about fat and I don't care. So basically that was a little bit of a lower calorie day, but that's okay. And especially when you're intermittent fasting and if you're doing like, so my window today was a 19 and five. So it was almost a 20 and four. But if you're a 20 and four or you're an OMAD, you know, you're not gonna be hitting 1500 calories or 1800 calories and that's okay. Like it's a good thing to confuse the body. So having higher calorie days and lower calorie days is not a bad thing. And like I said, yesterday would have been a much higher calorie day for me. So having a little bit of a lower calorie today in the end over the average of a week, you know, it's all going to come out in the wash, like it says, like the saying goes. So anyways, yeah, I'm done for the day. And maybe I'll do a couple more of these and string these all along into one video for you, just because I think it really does help to see what people eat when they eat. 
All right, have a good night. Bye. Good morning. Today is day two of what I eat in a day. I'm just working on my coffee with cream. Um, hoping to have the rest of my indoor decorations up today because uh, this is it's usually a two-day process. But anyways, uh, hoping to have that done today. And yeah, I'm just going to do my regular 16 and 8 as always. Might do an 18 and 6. I don't know. We'll see how hungry I am today. Right now, I'm totally happy with just my coffee and this is just my normal routine. Okay, so it's around 11 o'clock in the morning. I'm starting to get hungry. It's time to break my fast and I'm just in a super Christmas mood because I'm putting up my Christmas decorations, as I said. So I was kind of craving hot cocoa and a cool little trick if you also crave hot cocoa is to microwave your Fairlife chocolate milk. It really, really is a rich, amazing hot cocoa and it's going to give you 30 grams of protein so this is an excellent way to break your fast get some protein in kind of prime the pump and wake up that belly after it hasn't eaten for a few hours and uh, just kind of break your fast gently but do it with two grams of sugar 150 calories it's lactose free it's awesome so that's what i'm gonna do right now and it's lunchtime. i really enjoyed my fair life chocolate shake i'm just checking the time it's 12.45 right now, so it's been a little bit since I broke my fast with my shake, and I'm definitely hungry, and I'm ready to have some good protein. So, this might look like a big mishmash, and that's because it is. I need to go get groceries, so you use what you've got, right? So, I have some of the pre-cooked grilled frozen chicken breasts from Walmart, and I love these guys, and that's going to give me a whole lot of protein right there. I've drizzled it with some sugar-free G. Hughes teriyaki sauce. And in behind, um, you'll see what looks like cabbage. That's because it is some homemade caraway sauerkraut that my friend Georgia made. So this is gonna give me some awesome probiotics. And it just kind of adds like a nice salty bite along with the chicken and the sweet teriyaki sauce. And then you'll see I have a pile of cottage cheese. And on top of that are a couple pieces of grapefruit that are in a no sugar added uh, water mixture and so grapefruit actually can help naturally lower bad cholesterol and it can also help lower triglycerides my blood works awesome it's perfect but I used to really struggle with triglycerides so once in a while I throw in some grapefruit to help naturally keep that in balance and that's been drizzled with my one teaspoon a day that I always have of local organic honey it really helps keep my allergies in check and is anti-inflammatory and antiviral, antibacterial, but um, so a little dab will do ya. And so I have a teaspoon of that drizzled over my cottage cheese, and then I also sprinkled some pistachios for some healthy essential amino acids and just for a little bit of crunch and a tiny bit more protein. So this is a giant protein plate that I cannot wait to eat. Drink your water. It's snack time. It is just about four o'clock and I'm definitely starting to feel hungry again. Um, I totally love my lunch. I know that seemed like a mishmash, but that was so good. And so continuing on with that high protein, sweet and salty thing, like I did for lunch, I'm going to do that with my snack too. Uh, again, Chris is working until 730. So I may or may not have my supper before he gets home. I'll just see how hungry I am after having this. I don't even think it's quite, it's only 330, I guess. Um, anyway, so this is a Kodiak high-protein ego style waffle. They can be a little carby. Um, I think it's like 10 carbs for one. I don't know. I'll find out, and I'll have it at the end of the day. But what I did to top it with and to get some antioxidants in was I took a quarter of a cup of frozen berries, and I just microwaved them and then stirred in one teaspoon of Smucker's no sugar added strawberry jam. So it makes like a really nice, fast, fruity compote. It smells so good. And I love brie cheese anyway, but I especially love it with fruit. And so I'm just going to have this with a little bit more prosciutto. So I get some more protein and even a little bit of salt because that always helps if you're doing fasting. So uh, this is this one little plate has quite a bit of protein in it and I'm really excited to eat it. So I'm gonna have my snack and then we'll see what we do for supper. Okay, it's 6.33 p.m. and I have made some delicious low carb fish chowder. 
So in here, I use cream, like my 18% coffee cream, instead of canned milk or milk because milk is carbier and, and, and higher in sugar. And if I had some Fair, Fair Life milk from Callus, I probably would have used it, but I don't have any. So this has turnip instead of potatoes. It's an awesome switch out, and I'm telling you, you'll get used to it pretty quick. Um, lots of haddock, lots of protein there, but canned milk in traditional chowder or regular milk is kind of sweet. So I actually added a few squirts of my liquid sweetener and it's, you cannot tell the difference. If anything, it's just silkier and richer because of the fat from the milk. And I also just made a bunch of those delicious red lobster biscuits that we love. So they've got the garlic butter on top and they're nice and toasty and golden brown on bottom. And Chris has all his chowder right here. So that supper, I'm gonna have one biscuit and I'm gonna have probably two cups of chowder and I'll see how I feel later. I don't know if when he gets home, if maybe I'll have some Greek yogurt bark to finish out the night or that might be enough. So we'll see. Thanks. Just coming back on quickly. If you guys haven't made these yet, you really need to. They are so easy and oh, mm. you will never miss a roll if you have this around. Hello, it's about a quarter to eight and I decided to eat my chowder early and I haven't eaten anything since I had my chowder and biscuit, but I'm finally done decorating the whole house, <laughs> including my tree. We went a little retro this year. Riley asked for it to look like a Griswold Christmas tree. So we went all out with the popcorn and the tinsel and everything. And I'm gonna relax with a half glass of wine. It's, it's a rare thing for me, but um, definitely I'm happy that this is done and maybe I'll do a house tour during the daytime when you guys can see it better. I still need a couple of strings of lights, but anyways, I'm gonna have half glass of red wine and I'm gonna close my window. And I came in definitely higher in calories today. It was around 1,450 calories, uh, 94 grams of protein and 54 grams of carbs, 39 of those were net, so. Anyways, a really good day. It's a totally normal day for me, and we'll do it all again tomorrow for day three. Thanks. See you later. Cheers. Good morning. It's 7.15, and I just got out of the shower, and I've got some coffee on the go with cream. I'll have two of these, and I'm off to teach school today, so I probably won't eat until I get home. So that's it for now. I'm in my classroom getting ready to teach school. The kids are coming in in a minute and I stopped at Tim's and got a nice big fill up because I need all the caffeine today. So bottoms up. Okay, I made it to the ferry landing. I'm starving. It is 1.33 p.m. and I broke my fast about a half hour ago just the second I checked out of the Save Easy because I was so hungry. And I got these gigantic, I mean like, Cheapers. They're the size of my thumbs. These giant grapes. They're called pristine grapes, but they're snappy. Can you hear this? They're really snappy. They're so good. Anyway, so I broke my fast with like eight or nine of these. And now I'll show you what I'm about to eat. Sorry, I'm starving. I got some chicken wings, but these are actually not breaded. They're just grilled. So you don't have to worry about any of the sweet sauce or all that crazy breading. Sorry. If you can check those out, they look pretty decent. So I'm gonna have some of those. And then you know me, I love looking for those 50% offs. So I got this nice garden salad and I have a packet of loads of garlic to go on top because that looks good. And then, I don't know, I was hungry. This is why you don't grocery shop when you're hungry. <laughs> but I got, um, some mixed veggies and some of the dip that was 50% off too. Like I can't wait to get this haul home and show you guys all the good deals I got today. I'm so excited. But anyways, I'm about to eat my face off with those wings. So I will eat until satisfied, not stuffed, but that's definitely what I'm going to eat right now. So we'll see you in a little bit. It'll be supper soon. Do you know what's the worst? Being starving being at the ferry landing and getting a stupid spoon instead of a fork for my salad. I'm gonna eat it with my fingers, I don't care. <laughs> okay, it's five o'clock 
And I'm starting to get a little hungry, but I'm gonna wait and have supper with Chris because I wanna have steak grilled in our air fryer. So I've just brewed an espresso and I've added half a bottle of Fairlife. So that's gonna give me 15 grams of protein plus eight in my two good vanilla yogurt. And I'm gonna have half of a bar of the Lily salted caramel. And it says half a bar has two grams of protein, guys. So this little snack right here is 25 grams of protein. That's a quarter of my protein for the day. So this is gonna be delicious and keep me going until Chris gets home in two and a half hours. All right, Chris is home. It's supper time and I am starving. I have a gorgeous T-bone steak, which is cooked medium rare. And I ended up using the lemon tahini uh, salad in a bag with these crispy uh, chickpeas on top or edamame. I'm not sure which it is, but the dressing is very uh, Middle Eastern tasting like a tar seasoning. I love it. And I've got some more chowder from last night. So kind of doing the surf and turf thing. And we'll see how I do after this. This is a pretty big meal for me. Uh, this will likely close out my window for the night. And if it does, I'll give a calorie count later. Hey guys, it's right around eight o'clock and I'm definitely closing my window for the night. Uh, today's calories were higher again than yesterday, which I'm not worried about it at all. That T-bone steak definitely put it up there. Hashtag worth it. So 1790 for calories. I think I had around like 54 carbs and uh, the net was pretty close to that. Um, and what am I missing? Oh, protein, 103 grams. So yeah, it's been a really good day, completely satisfied and ready to close my window. And that concludes the three days in a row of what I eat in a day. I hope this has helped you. Please remember that I am a post-op bariatric. So if you think these calorie totals look a little small, uh, they're actually on the higher end of things for a post-op, but you know, I'm active and I'm maintaining my weight and I'm completely happy and satisfied eating this way and loving life and my blood works perfect. I'm really excited to have my two-year follow-up with my bariatric surgeon next week and I'll keep you posted with how that goes too, but I've already actually sneak snuck <laughs> and saw my blood work on the my portal that we can see our blood work now and everything's A1. I mean... This is maintenance. This is doable. This is, you know, my weight hasn't fluctuated at all for at least six months, maybe a little longer. And this is just how I eat and it works and I feel great. And I hope you will too. Thanks.